Today is day 11 of uh, 30 day lead coding challenge and today we will solve lead code problem number 543. And it's uh, about finding the diameter of a binary tree. So first let's understand what is meant by di diameter. So diameter is the distance between two nodes, maximum distance between any two pair of nodes in the tree. For example, if you look at this tree, uh, the distance between four and five is this one and two. You have to count the number of edges. Distance between one and four is two. Distance between one and five is also two. Distance between four and three is three. One, two, three. So we don't have uh, any larger diameter than this. So either four, two, one, three. So this constitutes of diameter of three. This is 4 to 2, 2 to 1, 1 to 3. So the longest path you have to find between any two nodes. Similarly, 5, 2, 1, 3. This also has diameter of 3. So here uh, your job is not to find the actual path, but just the value. So the length of maximum path possible in this tree between any two nodes is of length 3. So how we can solve this problem? So in order to solve this for this, you will be given the pointer to root node of the tree. You will look at its left subtree and right subtree. Uh, it may be possible that left subtree has two very long branches. For example, one, two. And so on. So and right subtree is very small, maybe one or two nodes. So you see that. Uh, if you start from here and go all the way up to here and come down in this second branch, you will get a longer path rather than one path you take in the left and one you right. So it may be possible that the diameter, the longest path lies in the left subtree itself and nothing from the right, right subtree. Or the other case that the diameter may lie completely in the right subtree and nothing from left subtree. And the third possibility is that uh, one component of the path lies in left subtree and the other in right subtree, or maybe it's stopping at root itself when the right subtree is empty. So uh, we, uh, in order to find the diameter of root, you have to find the max of these three things. One, diameter of left, Second is diameter of the right subtree. And third is that the path goes through root. In, do, in these two cases, the path does not go through root. In the third case, the path goes through root. So you have to keep track of what is the uh, deepest node in the left subtree. So for example, the depth of this would be one. Uh, or if you will count depth from bottom, then th these will be at zero depth. 5 is also at 0 depth, 2 is at 1. If 5 had one branch here, then its depth to have, would have become 1, and the depth of 2 would have become 2, the maximum of left or right plus 1. So you also need to keep track of maximum depth possible from the root. So in that case, you will have the path going from root, and you will see what is the deepest I can go in the left subtree. So that will be, we can call H1. And similarly, what is the deepest node I can go in the right subtree? That we can call H2. So sum of these two. Now we will compare these three and we will pick the maximum. So let's uh, write the code for this. I hope this concept is clear. We need to worry about three things. Uh, the, uh, diameter of the left subtree, in that case the path will not go through root. Diameter of right subtree, path again will not go through root. If path goes through the root, we will see uh, what is the deepest I can go in the left and what is the deepest I can go in the right and we add these two. So uh, we are breaking this problem recursively. So you see D is calling D. D of root is calling D of root left and D of root right. So this is a recursive 
uh, a problem of recursion uh, and what else you need to consider uh, due, due to this third condition you have to also keep track of what is the uh, deepest you can go from each of the nodes so one would be that you define a separate uh, function for calculating the height of a tree and one this so you will do multiple traversals of the tree that would not be optimal uh, so for five you will uh, call the height for its left and right and it will again call its height and height for left and right so it will repeat the calls so here we will optimize our solution so that we just do one traversal of the tree and in that only we will keep track of the height of node so we can define a utility function so this is the main function d and we can have a helper function dh and we will pass root and also a reference to a value height so these will be updated in that call so this main function will simply call it on root and pass a height reference to an integer h which will denote the height of root and inside this we will write all of this logic and we will also update this value h h equal to max of uh, h1 because what is the height of a node it is the maximum uh, the deepest i can go in left subtree and deepest i can go in right subtree so whichever is maximum we pick that h1 h2 and finally plus 1 so in this way we will keep track of height of each of the nodes as well and uh, finally we will compare these three and return the maximum of that so let's start writing code for this so this is our main function we can have an auxiliary function also let's call it diameter and it also takes three node root and one additional reference to height and it will also return diameter so diameter it will return the value return will be the diameter and whatever is the height of that node will be captured in this variable so first the base case if we reach a leaf node we are calling diameter for a leaf node then for this height we will first set 0 and we will also return 0 because the diameter is 0 so this is diameter we are returning and this is the height if the node is not null then we will have let's initialize the h1 and h2 to 0 these denote the heights of left and right subtree and similarly d1 will denote the diameter of left subtree and the value of h1 will be updated here when we call it on the left subtree and also the diameter will be returned so both values we are getting similarly for right subtree and we also need to update once we have called it on left and right subtree we will update the height of current node which will be max of h1 h2 plus 1 so here you will see that uh, we are kind of keeping track of uh, the number of nodes so if we reach a leaf node we will call it for its left which will be null so it will return 0 its right will also be null so it will also return 0 we will take the maximum of these two and it will return 0 and then we add 1 so for leaf node it's 1 for one level up it's 2 so this height includes 
a number of nodes on path so height is in terms of number of nodes we will uh, adjust our answer accordingly and now we are done we have to return a max of three things in c++ uh, max has multiple uh, multiple ways you can call max one is that you provide two values then it will pick the maximum of these two other is that you provide a initializer list so if you have more than two values you can provide initializer list because here we had d1 we had d2 and we had h1 plus h2 so we have three values so we can provide an initializer list it will return the maximum of that and here we just need to call this so uh, h1 denotes from root till deepest node number of nodes and h2 denotes from root till uh, deepest node uh so let's run it on our example so what's the line number 15 okay we are not calling return again typo so it works correctly and in lead code uh, in all the problems involving uh, binary trees they give the input in this form this means a uh, level order a traversal of tree so one mean node one then in the next level there will be two nodes so let me write it here in case you are confused so if they write 1 2 3 then that denotes this tree so they first write all the nodes of level 1 or level 0 that is 1 then all the nodes of level 2 that is 2 and 3 then the next level 4 5 let's say we have to write uh, a node below 4 also then first we will fill it these two nodes are null so we will write 1 2 3 4 5 0 null, null then 6 so that will denote that tree So null, null, and six. So this is the way the code uh, gives its input. But internally, they are building tree from it in order to test on your data. And uh, let's uh, submit our solution. And our solution is accepted.